All right, welcome back, everyone. So, um, just a quick inter recap. Oh, not recap, but um, I've done this off stream just so it's a lot quicker. But I'll show you what I've done. So, I've used the animated sprite to load all the animations idle down, right up, down, right up for walk and idle. In the animation player, I've done the same. But one thing to keep in mind in the idle left, I've flip aged on true. So now when I, if I zoom in, it looks like this on idle left, but idle right looks like this because on I, on the flip H I've set it to false. Okay. Just to keep that in mind. Now I've loaded all the animations I need. Now we're going to look at the animation tree and how to implement that using state machines and code. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to animation player and actually set the animation player to the proper one, go to the tree root. And what we'll do is we'll create a state machine. Now in the state machine, let's add a blend space. Now let's add another blend space. And this one will be idle. And this one will be walk. Now what we can do is we can, oops, create a travel transition between the two. We also need to go from start to idle. And what we have to do now actually is go to these transitions and turn off auto because we're going to be doing this manually ourselves. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to move it. So it's a little prettier From here. It says that uh, animation tree is inactive, so we can actually just activate it and it'll start playing idle right away. So in here, let's edit it and we're going to add some things to the blend space. So the first thing we need to do is if we go to the right, whoops, we have to actually click this guy, create points and let's go to the left and add animation and we'll do idle left because we're in the idle blend space and the Y or the X negative axis is the left. The right is the right. So we'll do idle right. Now the up and down are reversed. So up is going to actually be down. So we're going to play idle up or sorry, idle down up here and then idle up down there. A little confusing, but it's okay. All right, so now I can actually test this by taking my point and whoop, I think I have to change the blend. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I can now test it and move it around. So make sure we, we switch the blend as well. And now we can actually test it, right? So let's put this back in the middle. It doesn't really matter where we put it because we're going to be setting it anyways. So let's do the same thing for the walk real quick. So let's just go add animation, walk left, walk right. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Walk up, I believe, and then walk down up there. And don't worry if you mess it up, you can actually just click here, click the select move, and then you can select the point and change it on the top right. So you could always change it if you mess it up. And let's change the blend again. So let's go back to root. And now we've set up our animation tree. So let's go to our player and this, and now we'll add code. So first of all, let's actually take all those out and then let's actually load in our animation tree. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to say, yeah, if input direction, if the input is um, direction, that means we're moving. Now, if we're moving, what I want to do is I want to get our animation. So we're going to say anim dot, what is it? Get, get me parameters and we're going to do the playback. So we're going to get the parameter playback and then we're going to dot play or no, not dot play dot travel to um, walk. So from if we are walking, then we're going to travel to walk. So this will manually allow us to change states. Essentially, it'll allow us to go from idle or whatever state we're in to walk. Now, if we're not, we're going to do to idle. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like so far. Okay. So we have things working. You can see it's a little fast. Let me actually slow him down a little bit. We'll do 100 for the speed. So now we can see that he's playing it. However, there's a few issues. The direction is not working, but it is working. So we're going from idle to walk and idle to walk. So these states working. So the first thing we have to realize is that it's not looping. So we actually have to go through all of these and loop them. Let's do that right now, real quick. Make sure all the animation players, 
are on loop. Now make now just keep in mind if you were to have like an attack animation, you would not loop that because you don't want the attack to loop. You only want the attack to play once, right? Things like that. So the and idle and walk because it's we want it looping. We'll put those on loop. Okay. So now if I actually replay, it should constantly be walking. Okay, cool. Okay. Now what about the the directions? Well, this is actually really easy. What we can do is we can say anim dot set parameters idle blend position and then we're going to set it equal to no there's a, another thing here and we we pass through the value so we set the property which is this and then the value and the value is just the input direction right and that's it so now let's actually copy paste this and change this to walk you gotta make sure that it's all correct so we have walk blend position and set it and that's it so let's actually take a look. Okay, that's not working. Why is it? Ah, I got to put it in the walk, not the idle, I believe. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I believe I'm right. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> the reason why we have to, have to actually put this in the walk and not the idle is because we want it to update during the walk. But the, the good part about this, or the nice part about this, is that it stays in that blend position, in that direction, in the idle. So if I weren't to do that, if I weren't doing that, what would happen, like here, let's actually test this. Take these out, whoops. And let's put it right here. And I want you to try this and see what happens. If we move, it'll always go back to that default position, which is the left, right? Now, the reason why that's happening is because we are setting it outside the loop. So because this is always updating, because if we get vector, while I'm not clicking anything, the vector will be zero, zero. And if I have this here, that means that it's gonna be setting the blend position to zero, zero, right? But we don't want that. We want it to save the last direction that we set, right? So in this case, we save that, that, that direction in the walk. So when I'm actually walking, I save it. Right, I, I set it in that walk. So now we have a nice moving character with four directions and four different idle positions. And that's it. So that's a um, pretty quick introduction to animation tree and animation states. Um, I hope this really helps with animation trees and understanding how they work in general. There's a, obviously a lot more to it um, than just this, but this is the one of my favorite tools to use, specifically when it comes to 2D top-down games. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys around and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.